Year, hopefully a new you, and that you're going to subscribe to Better Eating Habits. I know I'm going to try this year. Dr. Brittany Robertson joins me now to talk about this and to talk about the fact that only one in 10 adults in this country gets enough fruits and vegetables. That's a sad statistic. Yeah. Can you talk about why that is? Yeah, um, well just having access to the right foods, having the knowledge about what food you should be eating, how much food you should be eating, I think all that plays a role into why there's a deficit in how many adults in general are eating a proper diet. When we talk about fruits and vegetables, let's talk about the best of the best when it comes to fruits because I know a lot of the fruits are very high in sugar mm -hmm. and I mean still it's a better choice than a piece of candy right. because it's the natural sugar but what are the fruits that you really like that you think are the healthiest? Yeah so I think of fruits anything with the name berry on the end so like strawberries, blueberries, raspberries those tend to be lower in sugar. Um, any of the fruits that have a core to them like an apple something like that those are lower in sugar as well so if you kind of stick to those fruits then you're safe. Okay finish this sentence for me. Good nutrition equals? Uh, I would say good nutrition equals a healthy balanced diet, eating a variety of foods, eating the proper portions of those foods. So think that a colorful plate is a healthy plate. All right, let, let's talk about some of the current dietary guidelines. It seems like it, it's hard to keep up with the, the different guidelines yeah. you hear um, from the government. So what are they? Um, so think of basic general plate is about nine inches in diameter. You want half of that plate to be fruits and vegetables, then a fourth of it to be your grains, which are basically your carbs, your rice, your bread, your pastas. You want to focus on whole grains, those are healthier, and then the other fourth of the plate is your protein. Just a fourth of the plate? Yes. Is it still like they talk about the piece of meat, whether it's beef, pork, chicken, to be about the size of the palm of your hand? That's what I was what I was taught a long time ago. Yes, that's correct. So a typical portion size is about the size of your palm um, or think of like a deck of cards as well. Okay. It, in terms of meats, um, you still prefer fish, chicken versus beef? Yeah, the lean meats are healthier for you, so stick with your fishes, your chickens, your safe, um, kind of beef, pork in moderation. All right. What is your perfect breakfast or what do you tell patients the best way to start their day? Mm -hmm. it's, it's not a sugary cereal, is it? No, it's not. I would tell them to stick to something that's high protein, low carbohydrates, um, low in saturated fats as well, low in sugar. So that's the best way. If you're doing milk, low fat milk is best if you're going to have that with breakfast. Do you like almond milk? Yeah, almond milk is good too. Yep. What about smoothies? Smoothies, but it depends what goes in them. If you're putting like bananas, peanut butter, the things that oh, taste that good, sounds good, they are good, but they can be high in sugar as well. So you have to be mindful of that. So spinach, maybe baby spinach, right. almond milk, mm -hmm. or um, like kale, that's kale. a good leaf as well. So we're not yeah. over kale yet. Kale <laughs> is still good, right? It's still good. Okay. Um, foods we need to just say, okay, let's go to the pantry and get rid of this stuff. Yeah. Uh, what, what do we need to eliminate from our um, diets? I never necessarily recommend to completely eliminate things from your diets. I try to stick to lifestyle changes that you can carry out long term or that are more realistic. So when you go to completely cutting out things, that makes you crave those things. And then when you give in, you just kind of it's hard to stop. So I say cut back on foods that are high in sugar, high in calories, high in saturated fats. Keep those at a minimum. Focus on uh, more protein, low carb diet, and you're safe with that. What is going to make you feel the fullest? I think a lot of people, you know, if you, if you do have, um, let's say, um, something with a lot of sugar or a lot of fat, it, it doesn't stay with you long. I mean, right. you, you're hungry again in a short amount of time. Right. Yeah, it tricks your body into initially thinking you're full, but then after an hour or two, you're looking for that next meal. So if you're doing a good lean meat, some vegetables, some fruits, those are going to stick with you longer throughout the day and also drinking plenty of water. Water all the time. Yes. Okay. More small meals. Do you like that concept of maybe five small meals a day. Yeah, I definitely think it's a good idea to eat small meals, five to six small meals spread throughout the